Welcome to another e-service for Emmanuel Evangelical Lutheran Church of Paynes Point. That's in rural Oregon, Illinois. These videos are designed to serve as a stand-in for our regular Sunday morning worship for those unable to attend in person for any reason. Therefore, this is designed to be participatory. Feel free to pray, confess, and sing along with us. An announcement or two may be included, but please mind your emails and the newsletter to know what's going on in the congregation. Good morning. Just a reminder, uh, I'm not here. Happy 4th of July. I hope you have uh, safe and responsible celebrations of our country's birthday. (laughs) Uh, Birthday is a weird word for it. It's an important date in our history, whatever the best metaphor for it would be. Independence Day here. Um, And just to remind you, I'm not physically here. I am on vacation. So we're using the same backdrop, some clips from Last week, I'm going to reuse the, not reuse, going to use for the first time a sermon that LSSI put together for us for last Good Shepherd Sunday. I said I would save it for a Sunday that I was gone, and that's what we're going to do, because Pastor Steve Erickson will be preaching in person, and I've got to, even if if we had a easy way to have him record to insert it, just the nature of time is I got to have this ready to go, you know, before I leave, so I'm going to use this this sermon instead, and that'll include the only reading this week, the gospel reading that uh, will be preached on. So, if there's a pastoral emergency, contact Pastor Scott Ralston at Faith in Forreston. Phone number's in the email that went out. And then uh, there's some chance, this should be clarified in the email, there's some chance a congregational meeting will go on this morning as to whether to repair or replace the air conditioning unit at the Parsonage. If the minor repairs worked, that meeting simply won't happen. It's not like you can swap out business. If if that was the declared business, it's the only thing that can be voted upon at such a meeting. So if there's nothing to be voted on, there'll be no meeting. So um, anyway, hope you're doing well. Hope I traveled safe. <laughs> and we'll get started. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the God of mana, the God of miracles, the God of mercy. Amen. Drawn to Christ and seeking God's abundance, let us confess our sin. God, our provider, help us. It is hard to believe there is enough to share. We question your ways when they differ from the ways of the world in which we live. We turn to our own understanding rather than trusting in you. We take offense at your teachings and your ways. Turn us again to you. Where else can we turn? Share with us the words of eternal life and feed us for life in the world. Amen. Beloved people of God, in Jesus, the manna from heaven, you are fed and nourished. By Jesus, the worker of miracles, there is always more than enough. Through Jesus, the bread of life, you are shown God's mercy. You are forgiven and loved into abundant life. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. God of the covenant, in our baptism, you call us to proclaim the coming of your kingdom. Give us the courage you gave the apostles that we may faithfully witness to your love and peace in every circumstance of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. 
Amen. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Greetings from the over 2,000 staff and volunteers and the 44,000 persons with whom we share in life and service, east, west, north, south, in between, throughout the state of Illinois. It is so good to be with you in worship. In our Gospel, Jesus declares that he is the Good Shepherd, 
one of the seven I am statements made by Jesus in the gospel according to John. Others include, I am the bread of life, the light of the world, the door of the sheep, the way, the truth, the life, the true vine. Jesus in these I am statements is saying to us, I will sustain you in your life. I will be your guide, your light in darkness. I will protect you. I am the source of all truth and knowledge. I will be your source of life flowing in and through you. I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd who is not for hire. He freely, entirely gives of himself who knows us and says we will know him in faith. And most amazing, Jesus states, I will lay down my life. I'm recording this in the sanctuary of the Lutheran Church of the Atonement, Barrington. Atonement, the love of God, the love of the Good Shepherd, so deep, he lays down his life for us. The ultimate act of grace and mercy in redemption, restoration, and reconciliation. And then the best, the good news. I lay down my life that I may take it up again. Our good shepherd, our redeemer lives as we declare most Sundays in our creed, seated at the right hand of the Father and in us in the promise of the Holy Spirit. How are we to understand, to process, to live out this depth of love? The Apostle John addresses this in two texts. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down their life for their friends. Our vision, as we are loved, we respond in love. As we are filled, it overflows to others. In faith, in love with the Good Shepherd, this is how I have experienced the Lutheran Church and social ministry. Long ago, Lutherans went beyond the walls of their congregations, building and community. Higher education, 27 universities, seven seminaries, 2,000 schools, mostly preschool, over 300 social ministries, including health care, long-term care, social and human services, outdoor ministries, and congregation-based outreach. Lutheran Social Services of Illinois has been in ministry for 154 years. Our mission, responding to the gospel, LSSI brings healing, justice, and wholeness to people and communities. This mission, developed years ago, is now more prevalent and powerful than ever. Our work includes five service groups, mostly at income levels that are just above or well below poverty level, including mental health and substance use, residential, hospital-based, outpatient, community and home services, children at risk of or have been placed in foster care as a result of abuse and neglect, affordable, supportive senior living and home care, care for persons with intellectual and developmental disabilities, re-entry and prison-based ministries. And throughout the past five years, our vision has been to strive for greater impact. There is growing evidence that in health, human services, social services, that greater impact can be realized in taking a whole person view and growing as a generative organization, we believe this is to be Christ. Jesus views us in our wholeness. We should strive to do the same. Our good shepherd knows us. As we have taken this view as opened our eyes to the need of others, we see the ecosystem of supports that surround people are basically inadequate, that there needs to be developed a coordination of care that connects people to the supports they require. Never has this been more evident than in the midst of a pandemic. Yet at the same time, we have been able to grow our services in ways that provide greater benefit. 
building the ecosystem of supports and coordination of care that address expanded daily living benefit and support, life support. Our services go beyond symptom reduction, crisis management, or safety. We view a person as more than the sum of their crisis, behaviors, or diagnosis. Our vision is to go beyond respect and promote personal dignity. And at the core of this is equity, diversity, and inclusion. Our vision is to provide greater health and well-being. Our vision is to build lives in reaching full potential, realizing hopes and dreams. We have been actively retooling and training our organization. It has been a transformational effort of love. As church, synods, congregations, members, your support has made this possible. Your gifts have provided the investment in our movement to be transformed as a generative organization, to be to others as the Good Shepherd is to us. Amen.
With that, I invite you to confess the faith of the Church using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us come before the triune God in prayer. God of all, through the waters of baptism, you claim people of all races, ethnicities, and languages as your beloved children. Sustain the baptized and increase their faith that your gospel may be proclaimed throughout the earth. Lord, in your mercy. God of the heavens, your creating spirit animates the universe. We give you thanks for the moon and stars, for the planets and the Milky Way galaxy, and for all those mysteries of the cosmos that remain unknown. Lord, in your mercy. God of freedom, you have liberated us from sin and death and rescue us from all forms of spiritual, social, and political oppression. Defend us from tyrants in our midst and deliver us from all forms of slavery or corruption. Direct our freedom for works of liberation and wholeness. And we pray for those who are at work defending us and directing us to freedom. We pray for John, Josh, Tyler, Morgan, Jack, Robert, Matt, Nick, and Dane, and all our other service men and women, police officers, firefighters, first responders, and all those who work to keep us safe, even if they are in harm's way to do so. Lord, in your mercy. God of compassion, you became vulnerable in the person of Jesus Christ in solidarity with the disempowered. Strengthen those who feel faint. Give courage to those who fear and bring wholeness to those in need. We pray especially for Jerry, Joe, Jim, Renee, Zant, Charlene, Gail, Lisa, Chloe, Connie, Larry, Cindy, John, and Melody. Grace, Danny, Doug, Bailey, Connie, Kendall, Jean, Horst, Barbara, Richard, Serenata, Anne, Carol, Jean, Edie, Leona, Amy, Dean, Andrea, Lynette, Mabel, Crystal, Alan, Gala, Anne, Bob, Luz, and Aaron. Lord, in your mercy. God of holiness, you send us out in the world to proclaim your love. We pray for our outreach ministries, especially our community garden. Equip us as we leave this place to witness and serve our neighbors. Lord, in your mercy. We give you thanks that in every time and place you call forth prophets who move us toward freedom. Thank you for all those who work for human rights, community organizers, and all who strive for liberty for all. Lord, in your mercy. We lift our prayers to you, O God, trusting in your abiding grace through the one who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And as you take a moment to share a sign of peace, I may even be here to put it in the chat for one of these, since this little clip here is going to be reused, and it's, you're really going to notice it now because I'm calling so much attention to it. I'll remind you, of course, that as we pray together in this venue, we're praying over gifts given and received, however they were given, if they were mailed in, if they were brought in on Sunday morning, or otherwise. So with that, let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, maker of all things. Through your goodness, you have blessed us with these gifts, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us and what we have gathered in feeding the world with your love through the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The blessing of God who provides for us, feeds us, and journeys with us be upon you now and forever. Go in peace. You are the body of Christ. Thanks be to God.